باشم so long that I actually, I've completely forgotten how to talk to a camera. <laughs> oh, you may have noticed that I haven't posted on this channel for, I think, four months, which is the longest time since I started this channel. How many years ago? In 2018, and it's now 2024. Ew, six years ago this year. And I feel like we have a big catch up to do because what has really happened over the past four months? I thought I would bring you along with my day and we can get back in the groove together. It's the new year. It's the same crusty, dusty, lovely me. <laughs> and this year I am going to be making more of an effort with YouTube and staying present over here because don't tell Instagram or TikTok. Over here is my favorite community. I just love the people that are still here. Thank you if you are still here. Thank you for sticking around with my four month hiatus. But I'm back. So today I've got a meeting with my management in West London and then I've got an event this evening. This morning we're gonna chill, we're gonna chat, we are gonna get ready, we're gonna eat. I think it should be a good day. Okay, a lot of time has passed and I have been boringly doing my tax return, so I didn't want to bore you with that. I'm going straight from my meeting to the event later, so I need to be like fully prepped. I was just doing my tax return, I was thinking, oh, there is one big thing I need to update you on. If you've been following me on Instagram, you will already know this. And if I had actually posted my video that I filmed in December, you would also already know this, but alas, I didn't. So I have started a new job. Time to get ready for my trial shift I was telling you about. I am a little bit nervous because I haven't done anything like this in well a long time. I've obviously just been doing social media for I had a part-time job but that was work from home you know this is the first time in like pre-covid that I've had a job that like involves me like <laughs> leaving the house I guess. I'm excited but I just don't want to get anything wrong. I'm a bit nervous I'm gonna like I don't know just constantly be getting things wrong but I guess that's not really I don't think that's actually will happen. I think that's my brain telling me that like it's gonna be much harder than it is but hello. We've got to work on these like silly anxieties I think or you know worse comes to worse I don't get it and I'm no worse off than I was on Wednesday before I saw Tuesday before I saw this ad you know. I think that's the thing that I am trying to keep telling myself because when I went in to ask about this I saw it on the door and they said that um you know, said to email, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go in because that makes a more impre better impression. And like, obviously, because I, I think they know my face. Well, they know my face because I get coffee there all the time. And because they know my face, you know, it should hopefully leave a little bit more of a mark than my name that they don't know. And I just, and I did that. And like, that is absolutely something I probably wouldn't have done if I was like in the height of my anxiety. But I was just like standing outside, like just, it's so easy, Helen. They're like, what's, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Come on. <laughs> And I did it and I'm so proud of myself because that's literally what's given me this opportunity. Um, that eyebrow is crazy. And yeah, so if this child doesn't go well or if I don't like it or if they don't like me, then um, yeah, I'm no worse off and then I know. So, the past year for me has been a pretty hectic one financially. Um, if you didn't know necessarily, mental health is not a particularly lucrative industry. Honestly, of course my camera, of course my camera stopped recording then. See, it's not a very lucrative industry and as much as I am very thankful for it and wouldn't really change it, financially it can be a little bit tough. This is also because I talk about mental health and also suffer with mental health and anyone that suffers with mental health issues may also be able to relate to the kind of hindrance that plays on productivity and therefore the hind for, because of me, because I'm self-employed, that then plays a hindrance on my income, I guess, my income. Anyway, so that is something that I need to personally kind of deal with, like find a good balance of being able to look after myself physically and mentally whilst also be able to support myself financially. This is definitely something that 2024 is gonna be focusing on for me. Sorry, I feel like I'm flashing continuously. And anyway, we started doing that because I have just, yeah, got myself a weird little coffee shop job, which I'm actually so excited for. Well, I'm doing it, so I'm not excited for it. It's an exciting process for me because obviously a lot of my job, this job is um, working from home, um, speaking to myself all the time, and Katie, obviously my flatmate, but it is nice to go out, speak to people, improve my like interpersonal skills and just meet more people, I guess, on the average day. And yeah, I'm also working very hard on my latte art. Now, disclaimer, I'm not actually making anyone coffees. Anyway, I think we should probably make some lunch. I 
I started with the idea of having like pasta with sausages and tomatoes and stuff and that swiftly turned into the fact that I can't be able to boil pasta. Yay. Sorry, you're really, really high up here. I'm getting ready to go out. As I said, I'm going to the office first and then I'm going for my like event. So I don't want to go crazy with my makeup, but I'm wearing blue, like a light blue skirt. And so I really want to do like literally like silver then with like the black eyeliner and stuff. I have a conspiracy theory that it doesn't suit my eye shape and I've never been able to work with like a lighter eyeshadow color. So I'm going to put this on my eyes. And if it looks not good, then, uh, then I will swiftly take it off. But I turned you on so you could uh, help me decide. I know I couldn't find an eyeshadow brush also, which was another issue. Oh, could this be cute? Could... Do I have it on my face? No, I'm just shiny as hell. Okay, I can be shiny. That might be a bit hateful, but when I put eyeliner on and stuff, I might be able to... My method of applying eyeliner is just, like... Dabbing myself in the eye and hoping that it kind of works. Yeah, that's kind of works. I don't think I hate that. It's not me, it is, by the way. <laughs> if we could run it, if we could run it back and do you wonder? If we could run it back, if we could run it, if we could run it back and do you wonder? If we could run it back. version of like a, a cheersing boomerang to think why do Thank you. 